Hello YouTube, I want to talk to you about how you can actually use an RP250 as a giant stop box instead of a preamp pedal. I've cut off all the amp models and I'm using the Marshalls Clean with uh, one of the distortion models and a compressor for some tone. I was experimenting with the Rodent preset which is supposed to be a Proco Rat which isn't bad either but uh, and maybe I'll show off both tones but I'm liking this death metal pedal distortion better um, because it kind of sounds like a Mesa but really it kind of reminds me of the lead channel ish of a 6505 but a little smoother I don't know it's kind of in the ballpark of that kind of sound like yeah it's called death metal distortion but it really actually sounds really warm and articulate um, whoops, where did I go? Okay. So, um, yeah, sounds really good. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of what the tone reminds me of. Through the clean channel of this Marshall, the death metal distortion setting kind of makes me think of the 5150 Soldano territory, if I had to be honest. Okay, this is the dry amp. By itself, this is just the Marshall's Clean. That's just a dry clean channel with nothing else going through it. Okay. And here is the gain setting. This is no preamps running other than an extra EQ boost. Um, this is just distortion and compression models going straight to the clean channel. I'm finding I wasn't really liking the preamps as much on here because they're just a little too digital sounding, but I like the distortion through the clean's natural sound. So here we go. So this is uh, the death metal. do the clean preset. The clean preset is the amp's natural tone with just some chorus delay, reverb, and a little extra EQ on the boost to kind of get it uh, a little more chimier. could show off the rodent tone as well yeah let's do that this is with the rat distortion that was the death distortion this one's
that's it. Um, that one's less gainier. But this seems to sound better. This, once again, the death distortion. <laughs>